Welcome back to another watercolour tutorial. Um, this scene is, um, you can see the reference I've popped up on the right hand side. And it's a picture that I took while we were walking around the lake, uh, Hollandworth Lake. So I'm using my Bockingford £140, uh, this time it's cold press. And you can see I've got my board at a slight 40 degree angle. And for the sky, it's a nice sky. I'm using cobalt blue, and this is my Windsor Newton professional grade watercolors. Um, so just wanted to get the gradual sort of uh, um, gradation of the sky. So it starts off a little bit darker in the top, and then as you come down the paper, it goes slightly lighter. And there's a few colours I'm using. I'm using the yellow ochre um, and sap green for the uh, greenery and trees. And there's a nice wall at the bottom of the in the foreground, and some um, fence posts which um, lead you into the path. So I'll be using a mix of um, I'll be using some Van Dyke brown along with um, my yellow ochre and a bit of French ultramarine. But they're the colours really that I'm going to be using, so it's quite limited. There's not many colours in this scene. Um, so I didn't I didn't have my camera while we were walking around, and I was um, disappointed that I didn't take my camera. It was a really, really nice day, and that's my favourite time of day is uh, what well, was about 6 o'clock in the evening when I took this uh, picture. So there was um, the nice soft colours and lots of nice cast shadows from the sun sort of setting. Um, so it was a really nice day, really, really nice, um, nice warm day. So this is the scene that I wanted to do. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I didn't take any pictures. Um, I didn't take any pictures of my camera, so um, I've had to just study the a picture from my phone and then I did the sketch with a pencil um, from the photo and then it's just um, going in with a colour from memory so it's not going to be exactly the same as the photo um, so I'm just going going um, using my memory just to try and um, replicate the scene but not um, going exactly so it's going to be slightly different I'll be using um, just some of my imagination just to um, just just to finish the painting, uh, like I said, I've no reference at hand to sort of go by, but it's probably a good thing that I'm not copying exactly. Um, I'm using a lot of wet and wet for this painting, so I wanted the soft sort of colours blending and the um, just just a bit of detail soft. Um, so I think it's going to be a nice little scene, quite straightforward. Um, there, there are a few nice trees in the um, sort of background hills, so I'll be getting them in with the nice big long cast shadows. <laughs> Just popping in the branches and trunks of this tree, and you'll see what um, how I do the highlights for these um, as the sun's coming from the right hand side. Just want to get the highlights on the right.
you may notice um, shortly there'll be a bit of a distraction the light coming through the blinds of the conservatory um, it's quite annoying because um, I do like to paint in the conservatory there's lots of natural light but because some of the um, the slats of the blinds I don't know what they call them um, because they get brittle they just with the heat uh, they just sort of fall off so I do apologize if that causes any distractions uh, I do have um, a ring light which I like to use while it's dark so maybe that's going to be um, used more as we come into the shorter days so I'm just popping in the fence post and the bit of a gate and then I've got the um, bottom which is the um, stone wall which offers a nice sort of look to the um, bottom of the painting which I'm popping in now and there's some nice shadows and dark areas on that so it, it just gives a nice uh, com um, gives a nice um, it just just adds a nice effect to the painting so I'm just popping them in and that's uh, pretty much the painting done you can see where the lights coming in now through the through the blinds so I do apologize for that So there it is, I've removed the masking tape, a nice simple almost summer scene, um, hope you like it, please uh, give us a thumbs up, if you're not subscribed please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, take care.